Welcome parents and other interested parties to Mr. Carlson's fifth grade literacy class and to our annual poetry and song celebration for 2015 and 2016. We will share it with you this year through video format. We would also like to dedicate this year's program to Miss Swan who taught us how to become expert readers and to love reading. To quote Dr. Swan, I want all children to love to read, like a cookie. And when students learn how to learn, they can pursue their dreams and live a life full of choices and opportunities. Selected students will introduce the poem they will be leading the class in. All poems were memorized by students at a 97% accuracy rate or better. Students also completed a close read and or a class shared inquiry discussion on all poems and songs. They will be reciting and singing. Shout it, shout by Broad Burgett. Shout, shout it, shout it, poetry. Fun for you and fun for me. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Feel the rhythm, feel the beat. Chunky words all chopped in chips. Silky sounds upon your lips. Tell a story, happy, sad, silly, sorry, good or bad. Leap a leap, hop a hop, see the ocean in one drop. Shout it, shout it, poetry, fun for you and fun for me. <laughs> Trees by Joyce Kilmer. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. A tree has no big mouth, is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast. A tree that makes a thought obey and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair. A pond whose the snow has lain, who intimately lives the rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. Self-pity by D. A. Thrones. I never saw a wild thing sorry for itself. A small bird will drop frozen dead from a bow without ever having felt sorry for itself. Friends, because I can tell that. 
we are gonna be friends. Growing by Mary Ann Hoberman. The grown-ups say I'm growing tall and that my clothes are growing small. I get clothes so small, I always think that things grow big or else they shrink. Did they shrink or did I grow or did we both change? I don't know. In Flanders Fields by Lieutenant Colonel John McRae. In Flanders Fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row. Mark our place and in the sky the larks so bravely singing fly. Scarce heard a minute comes below. We are the dead short days ago. We lived all dawn, saw sunset glow. Now we are loved and now we lie in Flanders Fields. If I, if I can stop, I am Dickinson. If I can stop what heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease what lies the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto the nest again, I shall not live in vain. Stopping my woods on a snowy evening by Lavalette Frost. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. You will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sound is his wing of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have come.
promises to keep. The miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. Little Boy Blue by Eugene Field. The little toy dog is covered with dust, but sturdy and sound she stands. And the little toy soldier is red with rust, and his musket molds in his hands. Time was when the little toy dog was new, and the soldier was passing fair. And that was the time when our little boy Blue kissed him and put him in there. Now don't you go till I come, he said, and don't you make any noise. So toddling off to his trundle bed, he dreamt of the pretty toys. And as he was dreaming, an angel song awakened our little boy Blue. Oh, the years are many, the years are long, but the little toy friends are true. I faithful to little boy Blue, they stand, each in the same old place. Awaiting the touch of a little hand, the smile of a little face. And their wonder is waiting the long years through in the dust of that little chair. What has become of our little boy blue since he kissed him and put him there? The Hollow Man by T.S. Eliot. Mr. Critch, he dead, a penny for the old guy. We are the Hollow Men. We are the stuff men, leaning together, head peace filled with straw. Alas, our dread voices, when we whisper together, are quiet and meaningless as winded dry grass, or rats' feet over broken glass in our dry cellar, shape without form, shape without color, paralyzed force, gesture without motion. Those who have crossed direct eyes to death's other kingdom remember us, if at all, not as lost, but only as violent souls, the hollow men, the stuffed men. Eyes I dare not meet in dreams, in death dreams kingdom, they do not appear. There the eyes, sunlight on a broken column, there is a tree, and voices are in the wind, singing more distant and more solemn than a fading star. Let me be no nerd in death dreams kingdom. Let me also wear such deliberate disguises, rats coats, crow skin, crust aids in a field, behaving as the wind behaves, not that final meeting in the twilight kingdom. This is the dead land. This is the cactus land. Here the stone images are raised. Here they receive the supplication of a dead man's hand under the twinkle of a fading star. Is it like this in that southern kingdom, waking alone? At the hour when we are trembling with tenderness, lips that would kiss from prayers to broken stone. The eyes are not here, though there are no eyes here. In this valley of dying stars, in this hollow valley, in this broken jaw of our lost kingdoms, in this lesson we in places they grope together in a void speech, gather on this beach of the tumid river. Sightless, endless, eyes reappear as the perpetual star multifoliate rows of death's twilight kingdom, the hope only of empty men. Here we come, prickly pear, prickly pear, prickly pear. Here we come, prickly pear, five o'clock in the morning. Between the idea and the reality, between the emotion, I mean, between the motion and the act falls the shadow. For thine is the kingdom. Between the conception and the creation, between the emotion and the response falls the shadow. Life is very long. Between the desire and the spasm, between the potency and the existence, between the essence and the decent falls the shadow. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is, life is, for thine is the, this is the way the world ends, this is the way the world ends, this is the way the world ends, not with a bang but a whimper. A 
for Captain My Captain by Walt Whitman. Oh, Captain My Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack, the prize we sought is won. The port is near, the bells I hear, the people all exulting. Our follow eyes, a steady kill, a vessel grim and dirty. But oh, heart, 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 oh, the bleeding drops of red. Where on the deck my captain lies, fallen cold and dead. O oh, captain, my captain, rise up and hear the bells. Rise up for you, the flag is from, for you, the bugle trails. For you, the waves and ribbon trees, for you, the shores are crowding. For you, they call the swaying mass, their eager faces turning. Here, captain, dear father, we're on the deck. This is hard beneath your head, for on the deck my captain lies, small and cold and dead. My captain does not answer, his lips are pale and still. My father does not feel my arm, he has no pulse nor will. The ship is anchored safe and sound, the voyage closed and done. From fearful trip, the victor ship comes in with object one. Sold those shores and ringo bells with a dive with mournful tread. Walk the deck, my captain lies, fallen cold and dead. Invictus by William Ernest Henley. Out of the night that covers me, black is the pit from pole to pole. I think whatever gods may be for my incomparable soul. In the bell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. And yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Once a jolly swagman sat inside the billabong under the shade of a coolabong tree. And he sang as he sat and waited till his billabong. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, Matilda, my darling. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he sat and waited till his billabong. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Now came the jump bucket drink inside the billabong. Up jumped the swagman and seized him with glee. And he sang as he tucked that jump bucket in his tucker bag. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, Matilda, my darling. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he tucked that jump bucket in his tucker bag. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Down came the stockman riding on his little bread. Down came the troopers, one, two, three. He said, let the jump up that you got in your tucker bag. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, Matilda, my darling. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. He said, girl, you jump up that you got in your tucker bag. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Up jumped the swagman and plunged into the billabong. You'll never catch me alive, said he. And his ghost may be heard as you ride tied that billabong. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, Matilda, my darling. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And his ghost may be heard. As you pass by the billabong, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Thanks for watching.